This is a short clip from today's podcast episode. I try to not talk too much, but I went out there. First call we went out to, I mean, there's a guy who's been doing this for nine years. He's been a technician for nine years, went out there, down system. And this was something that he was like, hey, I, he was just going to fix it. And I said, hang on a second here. Let's give her the option. Let's go through the option of fixing it, sure. Let's go through the option of replacing it. Let's do both so that we don't miss any opportunities here. And guess what she went with? She ended up replacing nice. the unit. I mean, it was a you know, over $15,000 system. She went with a high-end unit. And, and just when you think you know, you don't. And guess what? She's happy. She's right. happy. She got herself a new system. So those are the kind of things that then shape your business. Because as you start to grow momentum yeah. with that and you start cultivating that and building that, you'll then be able to go out there and repeat that process. And I'll tell you, some of the people who sell the most are the ones that have the most five-star reviews. Their customers are the happiest. Why? Because they offer a sense of confidence and a sense of peace of mind that yeah. that's really a, a lot of it comes out of mindset and how you set the stage for your customers. Yeah, 100%. Are you you selling. So it sounds like you're an advocate of like a good, better, best options. Like you were just describing that you gave them a repair option, that lady, and they an upgrade option and she chose the upgrade. So you were a fan of good, better, best or? Yeah, I don't or, refer to it as good, better, best anymore because it's been so long that everybody's been doing good, better, best. But I do have a formula that I use that that paints and it's part of my process and part of how I help businesses to when they, especially when they do their pricing and their presentations. So there are there there is a way to m make a good separation. I do like between at least, you wanna at least give two to four options. Two is at a at absolute bare minimum. And that's if somebody is already yes. buying from you and they're like, look, I'm gonna buy from you. I just wanna know if I want this one or this one. And no matter what they say, right. if they say, I want an 18 CR two stage system, I know I want this system, then you always show a differential because it is better to choose between something and something than something and nothing. Yep, 100.